Night of the Creeps, in 1986, Fred Decker, mm -hmm. right? The guy who gave us Monster Squad, right? Yep. Uh, directed a horror, they say horror comedy, kind of comedy, right? It's a, like a college, a college horror yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, it's like, to me, it felt like watching uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, kind of zombie-ish movie. Yep. Uh, it uh, about zombie slu <laughs> zombie zombie slugs taking over uh, taking over a college. You're like, yeah. ah, I don't know what to. Uh, so it's a lot of a, it's a lot of a lot. It's a lot of yeah. a lot. Co college chicks, romance, zombies. It's a B movie, Nude, but it's a yeah. lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I thought it was. I thought it was fun. I thought it was campy. I thought it was. Uh, it was gross out, and uh, it was good. It was slugs. It was. It was it was uh, goofy with the special effects, but hey, it was 1986. Uh, aliens. Hey, then, it also had then. aliens, right? Mm -hmm. It also had aliens in it. It has a little bit of everything, and I thought that's what made it a lot of fun because it was just a hodgepodge of a lot of different things, and it it was just fun. Uh, yeah, it has it has axe killers, slu mm -hmm. alien slugs, zombies, uh, fraternities, sororities. Some sort yeah. of formal, which I didn't know they had formals in college, but okay, they do all kinds of stuff. It's it was it was fun. It's it's it's, it's not the kind of frat parties I've seen, but you know what happens. And it it has Rusty from uh, uh, National <laughs> Lampoon. National Lampoon. <laughs> yeah, it's Rusty from National. That's that's where I, I was like, oh, it's Rusty from National mm -hmm. Lampoons. Yep. Uh, and it has uh, from Season of the Witch as the as a cop from Season of the Witch. Tom Atkins, yeah. Yeah. Also uh, from Creep Show. From Creep Show, but I, I like, when season seven came out, I was like, hey, it's season he's not, of the witch. He's not in uh, the Howling, is he? I was trying to remember. No, he's not in the Howling. Not in the, no, uh, no. no, no, he's on the Howling. No, he's yeah. on the Howling. Talking about Tom Atkins. Mm -hmm. uh, Maniac Cop. Yeah, Maniac Cop. Mm -hmm. I know he's in like Lethal Weapon he, too. He, stuff, he's in a but... lot. He's in a lot of. Oh, he's escaping New York. Mm -hmm. Room. Yeah. Lot. Yeah. He's okay. in a. He's in a lot of eighties movies. Um, but the story, the story, I, I, I like the way the story kicks off with like aliens fighting each other. And then one alien aliens throws, looked, yeah, yeah, aliens funny, he, at first that I, I, when I saw him, I was thinking, why have I seen him? And I was like, oh, that's right. He's the dad of the girl who jumps out the window and, uh, and lethal weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's all I could think of. And I was, then, he, then I was like, oh, and then he kept pausing and when they uh, showed, they watched the videotape. He's like, oh, here, wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 because it's a lot. It's like the like the Kennedy assassination, you know, back into the left. Hey. He did it. Hey, easy, back. easy, into easy, 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 easy. Uh, no, but I like from the beginning. You get the aliens, and you have the all the slugs in the tube. Then it gets sent down. But then there's like this whole like the subplot with the the axe, the the crazy guy escaping the uh, insane asylum, with the axe murderer. Mm -hmm. and then you have then you have the isn't slugs it, taking over. Silly? Yeah, there's there's a lot of silly things in this movie, but it all works just being nuts. It's just all camp, it's all nuts, but it's all fun and it's all it's it's all interesting and it's all well done. And it's all just a, it's it's all goofy fun and it's all well written and, and it's it's all well done for being for being written and and put out in in the 80s. It's just it's done. You you it's well It's, it's Tom Atkins' uh, favorite movie. Oh, is it? It's mm -hmm. it. It was. It was. It, you could tell from the beginning to end. Special effects, not. I don't think they're bad for 1986. No, right. It's practical. It's practical. It's practical. It's creative. It's it's practical gore. Uh, the dialogue isn't bad, right? There's memorable no. lines in the movie. I got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? Right. Um. There. It's. It's. There's a lot. I'm telling you, there's a lot. There's sci-fi. There's horror. There's yeah. zombie. There's it. It blends it's a lot of stuff it's in this it's a, very, it's a very 80s film, and it's a hundred percent. Yeah, and but it's you know if you want, uh, I was watching it and I was thinking this is better than most of the shit out there right now, like uh, Brothers. <laughs> yeah, go fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> How dare you? You need I mean, Sir it, Peter Dinklage out of this. No, but but it, and it has gore and it has gore, but it's not the like overuse of gore to be gross, right? It's not like it's no, like it's you have, right. Everything's it's, yeah. done right, correct. Yeah, yeah. 
and and it's gore, but in like in the sense of it's being goofy and it's being fun. Like when the slugs are coming out of the guy's mouth, or when the head mm-hmm. splits open and all the slugs are, are 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 like shooting out of the head, or like the slugs are shooting out of the people's mouths, right? Uh, or when like the slugs when they when they get set on fire and they just look like alka or tablets. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there's there's like there's it is there is gore and there's gross out, but it's not super disgusting. Right. It's, 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 to me, it was just B movie fun. Right. Yeah. And it's B movie to the point where you have fun with the movie and it's just a good time when you watch it. Coherent. Every, yeah. everything makes sense. Unlike well, other movies well that have written. been made lately that are supposed to be like B movies, but are, yeah. Have it, no point. It, it reminded me like some of the zombies like reminded me of uh, like Evil Dead. Like, Oh, it, yeah. it, like it felt like the movie a little bit of like return of the living dead mm-hmm. night of the living dread night of the living dead yeah usually if, if the, when the you watch of that when you look it up that return of the living dead's the movie that comes up next to it it's like oh it's, you know yeah. it's, you can also watch, watch this one that's yeah. one of my favorite like, movies like you could yeah. you could you could all you could like kind of say that hey um if if in the re- in like in a perfect world you would say maybe this because at the end of this movie like if you haven't seen it, spoilers. Like, yeah, there's a. It leaves it open. It leaves it open. Like, hey, maybe this could have led into mm-hmm. the return of the living dead. Like, this could have caused that to come back, mm-hmm. right? Caused those zombies to show up. You know, well, there's know so many that, ways. But... To, there's so many ways to connect it. But like, they could have all been in kind of some sort of same universe. But yeah. it all works. They they they're all. It could have all been connected. I liked that, and I enjoyed it. I liked the blending of alien slugs and zombies. And I liked the lions and tigers and bears on my. I like. I like the I, cameo of a uh, Dick Dick Miller too. I, yeah, I I did like that too. I liked I liked Tom At I liked the the um the chemistry that Tom Atkins had with the kid with Rusty. Right. I like that relationship. I like the friendship that you you know even the 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 friend was it um the two friends so what's the what's the name of the guy it was a JC or what was it the guy with the JC, JC, the one with the crutches, right? Mm-hmm. The one with the crutches. He had more charisma than Rusty, right? Because he was he was more he he had more courage to talk to people, right? The, because he had the disability or whatever. Yeah, but, that Riz. You know, right? Yeah, he he did. Like <laughs> he, he he when when he gets taken over by the slugs and like he sacrifices himself, right? You, He's like, the one that he, figures out how to kill them and everything. Yeah, yeah, he figures it out, and then he. Even like when he when his demise happens in the movie, you're like, even though he's been not been in the movie for that long, he is a main character. Mm-hmm. You kind of you feel like, oh, that sucks. That sucks. You were you were yeah. You get emotional. You, you, like, you, you start you feel like, crying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that, but you kind of feel like, oh, that sucks. But but then he gets his revenge. Much like if it feels like, oh, in Monster Squad, you know, when you watch Monster Squad, another Fred Decker movie. Um, Monster Squad has like the action where the monsters are fighting against each other, the kids are fighting the monsters. And then you have the same kind of action here where these guys were where um where the, the protagonist, the the guy and the girl, they're they're shooting up the zombies with the shotgun and the the flamethrower all at the sorority house. And that's a, the, also a lot of fun. You know, reminded it, it, it gave me also like oh th- <laughs> like just go, that's that's a whole lot of fun. That is all about yeah. the fun. Hey, Axiomata for you. <laughs> I th- the way they the way they, all of that got set up, I thought it was a lot. I thought it was cool. Like I thought I had a good time with it. Though I, I thought it was really well set up with the whole bus crash, and the 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 zomb- the, the zombie dog set g- bringing them all back to life, and then the all cat. converging, and then all all of them converging onto the sorority house. All right? I know, and this it, isn't Shakespeare, it but there. it is a good time. No, of course not, but it doesn't have to be. But yeah, these movies, these movies just have to be a good. They, 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 it doesn't have to be, but they are a good time. That's that's just exactly the way you said it. Um, it's it, a that's good. What it's a good is. pack cleanser for for movies now compared to movies. If you watch an older movie, sometimes it helps helps rejuvenate your your appreciation for movies now because nowadays movies kind of blow. The eighties were good for movies. Yeah. They're great for like like silly sci-fi horror movies. Yeah, they were great. Yeah, a lot of them were repetitive, and they said well, we'll just tweak it to make it this thing. Yeah, and and but it at the end of the day, they were still a lot better movie, a lot better, you no know, more cohesive movies 
than they are now. Mm-hmm. Now you got stupid shit like Art the Clown bullshit. Oh, oh easy. Okay, easy. Easy. Yeah, yeah. easy. Uh, no, it, it's... Calm yourself. They give yourself a reason to watch a movie. And this didn't... I don't feel like watching those movies anymore. Art. Brothers. <laughs> I mean, there's, 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 there's a, there is a, Watch, there's the an audience, show there's, my, uh, my home, there's an man. audience, there's an audience for everything. There's an, obvi- art, there's an audience for everything, but there is mm-hmm. like, there is yeah. a charm. There's a charm and there is charm to eighties movies. And there is, there is something about eighties movies that have better stories and they're no, better told. Like, like, like right. They're, they're, they are better. They are, they are better told. They, they were better yeah. written. They're, they're oh. less preachy than they are today. Right. Mm-hmm. The the they don't have they don't have to preach to you. They don't have to try to tell you. They don't have to give you a message. There's not a message that has to be told in every single movie. Eighties movies don't don't have premarital marital sex or uh don't don't smoke the reefers. Message. <laughs> right. There's, there's not there's not a a, a deep seated message in every single movie in the eighties. It's just fun. It's just like, hey, let's just mm-hmm. make yeah. a movie, and who cares if it offends people? Let's just make it, right? That's the things that are missing now. That you know had this charm in the eight in the eighties. Eighties didn't care who they who, if they offended anyone. They just made the movie. A movie was a movie for every. Like if you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you didn't. Yeah. And that's the thing about Night of Creeps. It blends a lot of different things. If you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you didn't. And it had different things for different people to enjoy. And I think that's why it works on so many different levels. It it's 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 a it has a nice pace. It's edited properly. It it it's it not feel long like it's, it, no, it doesn't feel like it's does it feel like it drags in any part of the movie. Uh it it it's well paced. Yeah. It's well paced. It, and and it tells you can story. tell they're having fun because they're even making fun of themselves during the movie. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. there, there's nothing in the movie that that'll 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 take you out of it and tell you ah okay that I I think they should have edited that out no I think it all, everything in the movie works for the purposes of Night of the Creeps I don't know if they ever made a sequel to it um but uh I think yeah, this, I don't think this so. movie I think this movie definitely deserves a watch and I would recommend watching it if you guys haven't seen it um, Night of the Creeps Fred uh, Fred Decker from 1986 I recommend it as do I. On that note, well, well I did you, ch- okay, you yeah. checking your time? Wow. No, I was thinking kind of going. I, I look up like it says that they made that there's a part two. Okay, like well, nineteen eighty nine. Okay. There you go. Well, well if you've seen it, that. if if you've seen it, comment down below if you liked it. What's your favorite part about it? And if there's anything we missed, let us know about it. Comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Vinny, Zazie, and we'll see you guys next time.